Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to the tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to make this guy right here. I'm doing this tutorial because Peter sent me a message and said that he's having a hard time getting a job because he doesn't know how to do website layouts. So I created this tutorial. For best results, you should probably also check out my Create Style Sheet website layouts that I provide a link to. And if you need to brush up on your HTML or CSS, I also provide a link to those two tutorials as well. Well, in the CSS Style Sheet tutorial, I showed you how to create this top bar, this sidebar, are this middle content area and this footer. This is just a div, this is just another div, this is just another div, and this is a div that is set for position right. That is all it is. Remember, CSS is just boxes. Every single thing is a box. And this menu bar, which is new, is also just a series of boxes. The whole entire menu bar is encased inside of a div, as you can see over here on the right side of the screen. Just a box, that's all a div is, and it's called menu. Inside of that is a table, and then you have a row that is of type no class, right like that, nothing special about it. Then inside of there are a series of columns. In this situation, we have seven columns, and they are of type menu normal. And the way I have everything set up, whenever you put your mouse over this or hover over it, all that happens to this column in this table is it changes color and it signals for this div to show up that contains another table, as you can see here. That's it. That's all it does. And then whenever you hover off of it, of course, it makes that div disappear. Might sound like it's really complicated to make this div appear and reappear, right? No, it is not. All I need to do is just change the class on this div from display none, which means it's not displayed, to display inline and position absolute. That's all I need to do. That's all the CSS code that is going to change whenever we create this menu. So let's just jump right into it and I'll show you exactly how to style this whole thing in HTML. All right, this is really cut down so there's not a lot of clutter inside of this HTML file so that I'm sure you can get a hold of everything. But what are we gonna have to do? We're gonna actually do the smart thing in this tutorial. We're gonna link to an external style sheet that's gonna hold all of our CSS code and H reference is going to point at the location of said style sheet. So that's it. We're gonna make that here very soon and it's also going to be very simple. The whole idea of this tutorial was to explain everything as easily as possible. And here I'm linking to an external JavaScript file and it is called menu.js right like that. So I link to my style sheet and I link to my JavaScript file. Everything's looking super. Now I gotta come down inside of here to the body section and actually create the menu itself. So what am I gonna have to do? I'm gonna have to create a div. And this is also how I often lay out websites with these different boxes and so forth so that I can keep everything all organized. So I go div ID is equal to, and then I'm gonna call it menu. Nothing really special about that. Then we're gonna create a table and it's going to be of type nav bar, which is a class that I'm going to define. And it's gonna be 800 pixels wide. And you could obviously make this any size that you'd like, right like that. And then I have to create my table row, which is just the row that's gonna contain everything. Like I said, it's real simple. It doesn't really do anything, it's just a row. And then we're going to define our columns and that is defined with TD. Class is going to be equal to menu normal. Each of these columns is going to have a default width of 160. And on mouse over, I'm going to call a JavaScript file that is so simple. And it is going to simply be called expand. And I'm going to pass the ID for this guy, which is going to be menu normal, to a function called expand in JavaScript. And on mouse out, which means the mouse moves off of this column, I'm going to call another function called collapse right like that. And then I'm gonna to have to actually put a name inside of this column and I'm just gonna put it inside of a paragraph tag and I'm just gonna put menu one right like that. Okay, I'm gonna scroll up so you can see all of this code right here on the screen. So then inside of each of those columns, I'm gonna create another div and it's going to be of class menu normal and it's going to have a width equal to 155, close that. And then inside of there, I'm gonna create another table equal to menu width is going to be equal to 155 again and then I'm going to create table row table column of class equal to guess what menu normal and then this is going to contain all of the links and here just to keep it simple I'm just going to type in page HTML and it's going to have class menu item and I'm going to call it item one and then I'm going to close off that link that is actually these guys right here so these are just rows inside of here with links so that's all they are nothing that complicated 
and actually most of the hard work is done. I'm gonna have to close off this column and close off the row. And guess what? All of these are gonna be the same. So we can actually come in here and copy this. And if we want four of these, fine, make four of them. Super duper. And then what do we gotta do? We can scroll that over there. Next thing we have to do is close off our table, right like that, and close off the div. Close off the column, close off the row, close off the table, and then close off the entire div. There you go. That's gonna create one menu item that's gonna drop down. And what's crazy about this is we're actually going to be able to create additional menu items just by copying and pasting this code. That's it. And this closes off the body section. I'm gonna get back into that in a second, but this is all the code that goes into creating one menu bar item and the menu bar as a whole. So now I gotta just create the JavaScript and the CSS code. Okay, as per the JavaScript, I'm just gonna come in here and type in function, expand is the name of it, and I'm just gonna say s, come down here, create a variable, call it td, make it equal to s, var d is equal to td, call a function called get element by tag name, and it's going to be the div element, which is this div element right here. This is the div that we are looking for. And we're gonna say get the first div element that exists inside up here, but it's, it really doesn't matter because there's only one. And then we're gonna come down to TD, change its class name equal to menu hover. And all this code's available on my website, by the way, for free. There's a link in the underbar. Right that. So we're just changing the class name in here. We're gonna change the class for the div, which is going to make it appear on the screen. That's it. And one more function, collapse, is gonna do the absolute opposite. So collapse comes in here. We're actually gonna use this same code right here. Actually, we're gonna use this, all this code's the same. So we're gonna create a new variable, two of them actually, in precisely the same way. And the guys that we're messing with here, just so you know, is gonna be this table column right here. That's what this represents. And this div right here. So that's what we're playing around with. And then we're just gonna change these to normal and change this to normal. And if you close off the function, all your JavaScript code is completely done. So now we're gonna create all the CSS code. So here is the CSS file, and I'm gonna actually come in here and define what a table column will look like if it is normal, in its normal position meaning not being hovered upon. I'm gonna create some basic padding for it, zero pixels. Remember, I want this to be as simple as possible. Color of the text is gonna be white, font weight, is going to be bold, vertical alignment is going to be at the top. And this is just setting the vertical alignment to the top of the div, that's all it is doing. Remember, we're playing around with this column right inside of here, and we're aligning it to the top of this. That's all we're doing right there. And it's aligned, right like that. Background, color, right like that. So that is all the styling that goes into that basic column inside of that table. Nothing too complicated. And I love to copy and paste if at all possible. So we got to create menu hover. And this is going to stay the same. Here we're going to change the color to black. We're going to leave this be bold. We're going to leave vertical align be top. And we're going to change the background color to blue whenever you hover over top of that column or that little box that has menu one inside of it. Then we got to create this div down inside of here. Boy, this is going to be really complicated. Just type in div dot menu normal because its normal look is to not be displayed. So we're just going to say display none. Don't display it. And then we're going to also put in here position equal to static. And this just says, you know, go with the flow of the rest of the page. So that wasn't very complicated. And then I'm going to copy and paste this guy again. And menu hover. This is for this div. Right here, this is the box that bounces down onto the screen whenever you hover over top of the menu item, just so you don't get confused. Scroll up here a little bit. Border, we gotta give it a border because it now is on the screen. And I'm just gonna say solid white, just to be simple about it. And background color, right like that. And then to make it display on the screen, we're gonna type in inline here. And this tells the div to generate an inline box with no line breaks. That basically just says, come onto the screen. And then we're going to change position to absolute. And this is going to position the element relative to its parent, which is going to be this column right here. It's just going to line everything up real nice like. And that is the core of the code that you need to make this menu work. Now I'm going to jump in here and create just some basic stuff like the body, just kind of as a review. Font-family. This is going to set the font family for the whole entire thing, right like that. Set the font size for the whole entire thing. And remember, this is totally separate from the web page. So if you make one change here, it's going to affect every single page site-wide. So that's awesome. 
And here I'm setting the margin on the left to three pixels. And then I'll just copy that and type right in here. Super. And we're going to say that we don't want any padding on this. And then close that off. So that just sets the default body styling. And we're also going to come in here and style anything that's paragraph. We're going to say padding top. And this stuff really isn't that important. It's just sort of just showing it to you to be a completionist so that you see it all. Table dot nav bar. You're going to see how important the nav bar is, which is not at all. All I'm going to do is change the font size on it to 8 points, the margin to 0 pixels, because it's not important. I want to act like it's almost not there. The border to 0, font weight to bold. Scroll that up, and table.menu, I'm going to change the font size to 8 points. Margin and padding are going to be 0 as well, and paste that in there. Except I'm not going to worry about the border. Alright, so that's all done. Well, what have I not handled here? Basically only one thing. What happens to these guys when you put your mouse over them? This is going to be handled also very, very simply, but I'm also going to show you a world of different options so that you can make this as complicated as you want. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do all the styling for all of those links. And this is going to be amazingly easy. Just A, menu item, link, text decoration, none, color, white. That's the text. Remember, text color is going to be white. I'm going to create padding of 2.5 pixels, background color, which is like that blue border bottom, 2.5 pixels, solid white display is going to be block. And that just means the display align break before and after this guy. Okay, so that's whenever it's just a simple link. Watch how simple it's going to be to define every single other possible property this link can have. I'm going to go paste, paste, paste. So come back up here again. Here it is in its most simplistic of formats. Well, what other things can a link be? Well, it can also have a visited format. Guess what? We're not going to define anything different because it's a menu. It doesn't really make sense to define that. But you could. Then, hover. We definitely want to do something different when they hover over top of it. So what I'm going to do is change this to black and change the background color to light blue. And guess what? I'm also going to do the same thing when it's active, which means when they click on it, it's just going to stay the same here. So it's going to be black and light blue. And I just changed those lines of code. And that is it. I don't need to do anything else with this CSS code. I know it looks like a lot of stuff, but it really isn't. So now I just have to come in here and take a look at all the work I did in regards to this menu that I created. And you can see here it is on the screen right here. This just created one main bar, and then there's a div with a table inside of it, and everything else works beautifully. But you're like, hey, I feel gypped. I want more menu items. No problem. I'll just open up Menu 2, and I'm just going to come up here to the column area that's labeled Menu Normal, down to where it ends, which is going to be right there, and I'm just going to copy, and let's say that we want to create, put some separation between that row. We want to create seven of these, so I'm going to go paste, paste. All right, so I just copied and pasted those, file saved it, and you can see it created all those menu bars for me. Every single one of them is exactly the same. And if you want to change any of these individual items that show up inside of here, that's quite simple to do. Obviously, we we'll just come in here and change this from menu one to whatever you want it to be called. And then inside of here, you could also change these from item one to item two to item three to item four and so forth and so on. But you might say, hey, I still feel gypped. You originally showed us a really nicely laid out graphic with all the sidebars and all that stuff. Well, that's going to be really hard to implement. No, actually not really. We'll just take the code that I created in the CSS style sheet website layout tool. And here it is. There's the body that surrounds everything. There's the header and all the CSS code that goes into creating all those different things. And this is really the only complicated thing about that tutorial, and that's not even complicated. Remember, the only reason why the sidebar is floating there is because of this guy right there. Okay, so let's say I want to take the menu and insert it into this to make a complete web page. Boy, that must be really hard. No, it isn't. Jump over here. What we got to do is we got to link to our external style sheets and our external JavaScript code. So copy that, jump over here, right under title, paste that in, put a tab in if that makes you happy. Then jump over here, back to where we created the menu. Just go to the top of this div and scroll to the bottom of the screen. Down here to the bottom of this div. 
copy. Jump over here to where we want this to show up. And we want the menu to show up actually after the header part of the web page. So what do we do? We go after the header div and we paste in our menu. And if we jump over here and open menu three, just so you can see that I'm not messing with you, that's all it took to build this whole entire website. I could have created this entire thing in, I don't know, 15 minutes. So that is how to create an entire website layout with a title bar, footer, main content area, sidebar, as well as a menu bar. Remember all the codes at newthinktank.com, link in the underbar. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Otherwise, till next time.